now it's that time of the week where I'm joined by Dr. V. And again, Dr. V, we got a bunch of stuff going on today. W what are we doing with baking soda and vinegar here? Well, if you mix baking soda and vinegar, you mm -hmm. get carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide? So let's go I, ahead I and never and knew that. Okay. Mix it. So. Now again, we always want to get your, you know, par parents, you know, observe the children when they're doing this. But literally, this is household supplies here. You can yeah. get baking soda and vinegar out of, soda, and out of any kitchen. And I'm going to add vinegar to it. Okay, so what's going to happen when you put the vinegar in there? Oh, whoa. And it's producing carbon dioxide now. So that's the bubbles, the gas that we're seeing. Yeah, right but you here. don't see the carbon dioxide, right? So how do we see the carbon dioxide? I, we I have this candle slid up. Okay. And if I put pour carbon dioxide on it, it should. So I'm not seeing anything, see. but the light, the candle just went out. Right. Okay. So it's actually carbon dioxide poured onto the candle, and that displaces the oxygen that you know gets the light. Wow. Out. So, okay. So literally, there's gas in here that you're pouring out right. onto the candle. So let's okay. make more. And okay. Then try one more. That is very, very cool. Now, Dr. V, is that the kind of premise that they use that are very similar with like fire extinguishers? Some of the fire extinguishers, mm -hmm. there are different kinds of fire extinguishers, and some of them they use carbon dioxide as well. Wow, okay, look so at that. See. So that's the carbon dioxide reacting right there. Right now, carbon dioxide, so it should. And as we turn off the lights again, they're actually wow. going to pour this. Look at that. So literally, you're pouring out this gas and, and you can't see. And this is heavier than oxygen, so it just easily replaces the. the Oh, it's just boring. No, that's all right. So but you literally mm, saw what happened right here. Let's do one more experiment. Okay. So I have these two cups here. Okay. And I'm going to light this splint. Okay. So again, we're just going to light one of these little cube things right here. So what do you want me to do with this? I'll hold the splint. Okay. And then let it go inside. Just put it down inside then? I, I, I didn't pour carbon dioxide or anything to it. So this just, is just a regular glass. Yeah. All right, I'm so I'm pouring it in here and it, the flame is still happens, going. Yeah. Nothing's happening here. Let's make one more. Okay. Okay, we'll see how fast Dr. V can do this before it burns down to the end. <laughs> so okay, so you case, just made some more carbon dioxide, and now you're going to pour that I'm into going the glass. To pour it. Okay. I'm going to pour it. But you can't see it. No. I'm going to pour it inside. So go ahead and... and, and okay, so if it's in there, then yeah. this should, I guess... Oh my goodness, look at see, that. It difference. just totally so extinguished. You can't see it, but it's just pouring. And again, as you're saying, carbon dioxide always is heavier than air. So heavier than oxy and oxygen, so it just goes down. Oh, very, very cool. Now again, always get your parents supervision before you do something like this with a, with a flame. But Dr. V, a very cool experiment to show an, well, a colorless gas like carbon dioxide like this that, well, you can see what it's doing right there. Log on to the website on Hawaii News now to get the info to do this. And again, Dr. V, thank you very thank again you. for a very cool experiment. <laughs>